personality was passed down from generation to generation. <laughs> However, I always felt like there was this piece of me missing, this hole I couldn't fill. And I didn't like my Yankee side because it didn't fulfill me like I thought it should. Life was scary to me because I didn't know who I was, yet desperately wanted people to like me. My father, though, is the opposite of me. He's an extrovert, the life of the party. I wish I was more like him. He'd always tell me that life is unfair, but to make the most of it. I could either wallow in the poods of sadness, or I could pick myself up and figure out who I was. And he'd say to me, That's life. That's what people say. You're riding high in April. Shut down in May. But I know I'm gonna change or two. When I'm back on top in June, that's a lot. Funny as it seems, people get the kicks stomping on dreams, but I won't let it get me down. Cause this feeling keeps spinning around. I've been a puppet, a pirate, a pauper, a poet, a pawn, and I've been up and down and over and out, but I know one thing. Each time I find myself flat on my face, I pick myself up and get back in the race. That's life, oh, and I can't deny it, yeah. I'm not weak, but my heart just won't buy it. If I did it, think it was worth it. Soundtrack. Yeah. 
Christine Gaillet in the privacy of my own stage, my bedroom. Maestro? <laughs> He doesn't 
dance just how girls back in the day. But to release steam and have fun, and it would make me dance with him at home. But it was salsa dancing. It was there that I learned that music and dance was a way for me to express myself, when before I didn't know how. But before I could love myself, I had to figure out who I was. I had to find my missing piece to have inner peace. And it took anger and frustration to finally find it. I was in Washington, D.C. at the National Conception, at the Basilica of the National Con Conception of Love, the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. <laughs> what a name! <laughs> There are different saints for different countries, and Cuba's is Our Lady of Charity. One prays to her for peace, justice, love, and unity. And I got so angry as I stared at her statue. Where's the justice? Where's the peace? It felt like God wasn't listening. 
my grandparents' immigration story comes to mind. They flew on their freedom flights to Chicago without knowing any English. Lord, we take this journey to find a promised land. Lord, we take this journey to find a promised land, and we believe in your power. We believe in your power. We believe. to get on a freedom flight. They had to wait two years. On the day before, Cuban soldiers came and took inventory of all that they owned so that nothing would be taken. It now belonged to Fidel Castro. When they finally made it to the airport, soldiers then confiscated all of their valuables. All they had was a suitcase with a week's worth of clothes. My grandparents took my 10-year-old uncle and my 8-year-old father to a new country with no money. And I know it's my responsibility, but I'm starving too, and I hurt, I do, and I'm lost. I believe in my responsibility, but I need to see if the fruits be worth the cost. So I'm begging your Lord, you gotta stop. Take a look at your children who believe in this promised land. Have mercy, Lord, stop their suffering and woe. turning point was for her to uproot her family. And she said it was when Castro announced that he would brainwash 10 to 12 year old boys into his army. It was all for her sons, her little Felix and her little Ernesto, my father. I realized that I am Cuban. 
I have such a deep passion and love for the Cuban people despite growing up Yankee. And for most of my life, I try to convince myself that I'm not Cuban because I'm pale, I'm not fluent in Spanish, and I don't know much about the Cuban culture. But this gut reaction was concrete evidence to me that I am a Cuban American. And discovering my missing piece helped me appreciate the whole piece. If my grandparents could immigrate to America without a dime, and my Yankee forefathers could fight in the revolution, then I, I can step out of my bedroom. It took all the strength I had not to fall apart. Kept trying hard to mend the pieces of my broken heart. And I spent, oh, so many nights just feeling sorry for myself. I used to cry. But now I hold my head up high. And you see me, somebody new. <laughs> I'm not that chained up little person who was afraid of you. Weren't I the one who tried to break me with my fears? Did you think I crumbled? Did you think I lay down and die? Oh, no, no, I, I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love life, no, I'll stay alive. And I'm 